Franklin man has found his way to beat the high prices at the pump. He is getting around on electricity. And a bit of his own human energy, thanks to a hybrid bike he's created. News to video journalist Mike Browning has the story. It may not be every man's answer to escalating gas prices, but for Michael Brown of Franklin, Tennessee, strapping on a helmet and hopping on his electric bike is healthy. It was just fun to ride the bike. And economical. But now that gas prices are so high, it's, 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 uh, the bike's already paid for itself in gas savings. Brown's retrofitted mountain bike is powered by a $150 German-made brushless 400-watt electric motor in the hub of the front wheel and two lightweight nickel metal batteries. All we had to do was just take the tire off of the original one and put it on that one, put the batteries on, put the wires on, and it was all set to go. Wires from the battery pack to the motor run neatly along the mainframe, the throttle much like a motorcycle. I can get it up to 35 miles an hour. Very quiet, as you can see. It's just like a motorcycle. The more gas you give it, the faster you go. It cost him $1,300 to build the bike from scratch, but some non-motorized racing bikes can run over $2,000. In the biking world, the lighter the bike is, the more expensive it is. For electric bikes, you don't need light bikes. You kind of need heavy, more heavy-duty stuff, and that's cheaper, actually. And at a cost of two cents of electricity for a 50-mile charge, he says the savings are worth every penny. If I only ride a couple of miles, I may not have to charge the bike for two or three days. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> he says he uses the bike more than his car. I go to the post office, I go to the grocery store, I go to the bank. Sometimes I go to uh, events that are in Franklin that are, that are nearby. That way I don't have to worry about parking. His longest trip, 120 miles to visit his mom in South Tennessee. Already he's clocked over 15,000 miles, saving over $2,500 worth of gas at today's prices. I go all over the place with this bike. Brown must pedal to five miles per hour before the motor can kick in, but says he still pedals most of the time anyway. Well, I just pedal for the exercise. I mean, I could just drive it the whole way. A lot of people just assume that I'm, an, I guess, an insanely strong rider, but uh, I do ride in the bike clubs, but I don't use the motor to uh, blow everyone away. It's just, you know, they have a good time on the ride. With hybrid vehicles being popular, this is a whole lot cheaper than a hybrid vehicle, and though you can pretty much do a lot of your errands just as easily with it. An IT specialist and web designer by trade, Brown says he's already retrofitted bikes for friends. All you need is a 26-inch wheel with a wide fork. If you can imagine all this, but on a different bike frame. Brown says all you really need is a desire for the wind at your back and the sheer willingness to pass cars on the open road. In Franklin, Mike Browning, News 2.